So welcome to TechnoDad Life. My name is Jeff. So how tough is the toughest external mini SSD? No dent or anything. The OWC Envoy Pro Electron is advertised to be as tough as a tank. Today we will find out if it is. So OWC advertises the Envy Pro Electron as the fastest, toughest mini size SSD in the universe. They say it's crush proof, dust proof, waterproof, and can transfer gigabytes of data in seconds to your Mac, your PC, your iPad, your Chromebook, and your Android tablet. That sounds really good. So let's see how it holds up in real world performance. Now, mini size USB powered devices are not that common yet. I found two other ones on Amazon, neither of which was rugged. I don't have any of those to compare to, but they should all be fast because they are USB C. So let's take a quick look at what you get. It's a small package, it comes with some directions, a very small SSD, it feels really solid and heavy. It seems like it's machined out of solid aluminum. There's also a USB-C cable with a USB adapter. Now on the front it has a slot where there's a light. On the back it has a USB-C port which is very well protected by the aluminum housing. And on the bottom it has two nice rubber feet that help keep it from slipping all over the place. So underneath the rubber feet are some screws that hold it together. If this drive survives our test, we'll open up and look at the SSD inside. OWC says the drive is IP67 rated. So what does IP67 mean? Water and dustproof connectivity products are defined by their ingress protection, their IP. So IP as in IP67. The first number after the IP is for the parts protection against solid objects like dust and sand. This number can range from zero, meaning no protection against dust and sand, and six, meaning 100% protection against dust and sand. The, number, the second number after the IP is for the parts protection against liquid. IP67 equipment is the most commonly found in the connectivity market. And so the seven means it can go under water, one foot of water for 30 minutes. So it's 100% protected against solid objects like dust and sand, and it has been tested to work for at least 30 minutes while under up to one meter of water. So let's start with the crush test. So we'll drive our car over it, then let's hammer it and see what happens, and then we're gonna drop it off the side of our building. Okay, so. Okay, so we're going to run our first test. I have the drive and we're going to run over it. Gonna, are you ready? Okay, good. So here, stick this. Right there so we can see it. And I'm going to put this on slow-mo. Okay, and actually not a scratch on it, just is got some tire prints, so let's try something a little harder. So next we're going to be throwing this off a second story porch, but we're going to be having Yuna throw it and then we'll see how it's doing. Ready! <laughs> So yeah, it does have a, this one corner is bitten up right now, but otherwise it's in good shape. But we're gonna start do a throw test now. Okay, so we have this again. We're gonna do the throw test. I'm gonna throw it down there. Yuna's gonna film it. We'll have to see what happens. 
Um, I didn't. I didn't realize it was going up so high. I don't know if I got that well, but okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, how about I, I film that? And you throw it. Well, we're really doing some damage here. Thumbs up! Thumb. Okay. okay, good job. And so we actually threw it like four times because we were having difficulty filming it. But definitely the corner's got some scuffs, but the main part looks okay. Let's go inside and see if it works. So we just ran over the drive. We threw it off a second story balcony. We threw it down the street four times and it has some damages on the corners, but let's plug it in and see if it works. And there you can see the drive is working and you can see the little blue light is on in the front. So, so far so good. So what we'll do now is we'll do a little more dangerous test to see if it will actually survive. So we're going to put it in some water. Okay, so our drive, we're gonna dump it into this pitcher of water. We're gonna leave it there for a half an hour. So let's do that. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this in front of the timer on the stove. And we'll set the timer. Oops, and let's drop that in there for 30 minutes. Okay, so our timer is up, not quite, uh, well, actually it's a little bit over 30 minutes. So let's take and dump this out. And there it is. So, looks pretty good. You can see it's banged up from throwing it around, but otherwise it looks okay. So what we'll do is we'll dry it out and see if it works. And maybe we can stick it in our blender and see if it blends, if my wife lets me. Okay, so I dried it out as much as I can. The main area I'm worried about is just right there at the port. But I put it in front of a heater that was blowing, so hopefully it's dried out enough. So we're going to plug it in and hopefully it doesn't blow up my computer and see if it works. Okay, so it looks like we have success. So there is the drive and let's open it up just to make sure. I haven't done that yet. And there is my file. So welcome to Techno Dad Life and... Okay, so it works great. Okay, so let's open this up. Just we have to take off the rubber parts. And so I've already thrown this about a few times. So the screws are coming out nice and easy. See the lid just lifted up. And so we here we have some thermal compound. And so this is a 
OWC branded M.2 NVMe SSD. And I bet you could replace this with something bigger, well, not lengthwise, but capacity wise, if you wanted to. If you look along the edges here, this black part is a little rubber gasket. So that's how it maintains its waterproof. And again, it's super solid. I'm gonna guess this is definitely machined out of aluminum. Interesting. So we have the OWC Electron Pro Envoy put back together. And so do I think this is worth it? And I would definitely say yes. It's definitely the toughest drive that I've ever tested. And I mean, even though you can see there's like damage on the corners, I mean, there's a good, you know, half inch on each side, as we just saw where it's protected by metal. So this thing is going to last for a very long time. So if you liked the video, make sure you like, and if you haven't already subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And a special thank you to all my supporters who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you. Hmm. No dent or anything.